Good morning. It is Monday the 24th of August and this morning we're going to read together Psalm 52. Let's hear what it says. Why do you boast about your crimes, great warrior? Don't you realise God's justice continues forever? All day long you plot destruction. Your tongue cuts like a sharp razor. You're an expert at telling lies. You love evil more than good and lies more than the truth. You love to destroy others with your words, you liar. But God will strike you down once and for all. He'll pull you from your home and uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see it and be amazed. They will laugh and say, look what happens to the mighty warriors who do not trust in God. They trust their wealth instead and grow more and more bold in their wickedness. But I am like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. I will always trust in God's unfailing love. I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust in your good name and in the presence of your faithful people. Amen. Again, another different sort of psalm as such. Um, another psalm which brings, psalm brings another challenge to us. Uh, very much like the world today, uh, talking about somebody who, as the psalmist puts it, is a great warrior, but who's gone off doing their own thing, who doesn't care about others, who is telling lies, doing things they shouldn't do, thinking that they can get away with whatever. But then in verse 5, the warning, but God will strike you down once and for all. It's a hard psalm from that point of view in that it's, it reminds us that there is judgment to be faced. Um, but where there is judgment, there is also forgiveness and grace. As the psalmist says, I am like an olive, olive tree thriving in the house of God. I always trust in God's unfailing love. When we realise that we need God and put our focus in, on him, and put our trust in him, how he looks after us and cares for us, and that image, I am like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. An olive tree where it is well fed, where the, the branches are strong, where the leaves are good, where there are olives which can be harvested, harvested and produce goodness for others. And that's what it's like whenever we follow God. When we follow our own ways, we're like the great warrior and we face judgment. But when we trust God, we are blessed. There's a thought for this morning. How to be blessed by God by following his ways. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for this day and we thank you again for your words. At the start of another week, um, we just pray that you would help us to live for you. Lord, we live in a world that's full of evil and we see that around us. We see people living their own ways um, in complete disregard for you. And Lord, we are sad. Because as we think of those people, we think of how what they are doing gets them nowhere. But we thank you that we can trust you. And we thank you that whenever we put our faith and trust in you, then we are like an olive tree that is thriving in your presence. Lord, may that image remain with us this day as, as we maybe face struggles today. And as we do, that we would turn to you seeking strength and guidance um, from you and from your word. So, Father, thank you. Continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. God bless. Bye.